As you know, there are a lot of online educational resources out there, but what we don't know, as a community, is whether they're actually effective in promoting students' learning outcomes. So the goal of this project was to test the effectiveness of a particular online course we developed here at Carnegie Mellon. It's a course in introductory statistics and was built as part of the Open Learning Initiative. In particular, we had a bold hypothesis that students working with this online course in what I'll call adaptive mode would actually show equal or greater learning gains in half the time as compared to students learning the same material in a traditional course format. Now, we had good reason to believe that this would work. This course was developed based on the best scientific results available. For example, one thing we know from the literature is that how students organize their knowledge has a big impact on students' learning and performance. So in this online statistics course, it begins by showing students the big picture of statistics, basically how the units of the course fit together, and then returns to this picture intermittently throughout the course so students can see how what they've just learned connects to what they're about to learn. We also know from the research that practice and feedback are very important to students' learning. So in this online statistics course, students do a lot more than read text and watch videos. Indeed, they're regularly asked to check their comprehension and put their knowledge to the test by solving real-world application exercises. For each of these questions or exercises, students are given immediate feedback tailored to their response so they can learn both from their successes and their mistakes. This is rather different from what happens in a traditional class where students might attend lecture one day, complete their homework a few days later, and then not see the results until the following week or later. In addition to students getting feedback on their progress, the instructor also can see how students are working, where they're having difficulty, and who might need extra help via a learning dashboard. The learning dashboard tracks students' interactions with the online course and then aggregates this information in a way that allows faculty members to track the students' learning skill by skill. In addition, the faculty member can drill down to see particular student responses and find out which questions cause the students most difficulty. So how did we conduct the study? Well, we wanted to make the comparison as fair as possible. So we got the list of all the students enrolled in the introductory statistics course and invited them to participate. Among those who were interested, we randomly assigned half to the adaptive accelerated condition. This condition incorporated the online course. In the traditional setting, uh, the other half of the students served as a control group. These students met for class three times a week and had one computer lab session per week. Both groups of students did homework. The online adaptive students did their homework by interacting with the online course as I've described. Traditional students did regular homework exercises and turned in problem sets every week or so. To test the effectiveness of students learning in the two conditions, we administered a pre and post test to students in both groups. This test is aimed at assessing students' conceptual understanding of statistics. Students in the online adaptive course actually improved 18 points from the beginning of the semester till when they finished studying the material eight weeks later. However, in the traditional course, students only increased by three points, and that was after they had been spending 15 weeks studying the same material. So as you can see, students in the online adaptive course had greater learning gains while spending about half as much time. These results are very encouraging, but what we really want to know is when students were learning in the online adaptive course, how well could they retain that information when they took the next course that might rely on that material? In order to study this question, we actually invited students from both groups back to take some additional statistics quizzes and see how they had retained the material. What we found was that students in the online adaptive condition retained their greater learning gains even until the following semester as compared to students in the traditional group. 